Dear friends, welcome again for this week's video. I just received my uh, Nuex uh, Mighty Plug uh, Pro device uh, that you can see here now. And uh, I will be sharing with you how to upgrade the firmware. You may have already uh, had a look at the unboxing, but let's start with the overview on how to upgrade the firmware. Okay, as I said, today's topic is uh, the upgrade of the firmware for this device uh, we have here, that is the Nuex Mighty Plug Pro. By the way, this uh, movie is uh, valid also for uh, Mighty Plug Standard MP2 or Mighty Air. The process uh, is uh, exactly the same. You just need to download some files from Nuex uh, website, uh, the correct ones, of course, uh, and then uh, connect the device to your computer. It's not possible to do it using a smartphone, for example, or something like that, and then perform the upgrade. Of course, you will need some hardware parts, okay, mainly the device that needs to be upgraded. You know that it is provided with a USB-C port that is, as I said, valid also for other Nuex Mighty devices like the Nuex Mighty Air and Nuex Mighty Plug MP2. Also, you will need a USB cable, USB-A on one side, USB-C on the other side. A computer. I will be using my Mac uh, because my PC, Windows PC just died a few weeks ago, so I have to use uh, this one, that is the replacement for that one. Um, in any case, you see that I don't have a USB port on this device, so I will just connect the USB-A connection to my, uh, to, to my USB hub. You cannot see it, it's on the uh, on this side of the screen, so it's on the left left hand side. Uh, I not I cannot uh, show it uh, in the um, uh, in the camera, but just follow the, the instruction. If you have a USB port in your in your uh, uh, computer, just connect it. If you don't have it, you may need a USB hub, as I've been using, like uh, one of these, for example, something like that. That is a USB C on one part uh, on one side and some USB A port on the other or you can um, you can use other kind of adapters uh, they, they should work uh, uh, quite well in particular with Windows computer with uh, Mac computers like in my case uh, it is a little more complicated because uh, they used to be quite uh, uh, picky with the, the, the hubs that are working. This one, for example, is uh, one of the oldest one I've been using and is not working so reliably, so I'm trusting another one that is connected directly to the... It's like a, a sort of dock that I've been purchasing lately that is connecting... Uh, it's more reliable when I connect something through uh, USB. Nevertheless, very easy. The, the hardware is... Uh, set it in no time you just need to uh, extend your cable by the way this is white so you can see it better in the camera but consider that you can use also the regular cable that use uh, that you use for uh, charging your device because because it's already provided within the the box you just need to connect it to the usb port do not turn on, turn on the device yet it's not time and then I'm passing the cable so I can connect it to my to my computer. Okay, so here we are with the device. I'm hiding it for a moment to show you the screen. Of course, you will need a PC. You see the desktop on my Mac. On Macs in particular, you can find out if the device was detected because if I go to sound and check for it, for um, and I turn it on, if I turn on the device, it will uh, appear as a possible output, this one, Mighty Plug Pro USB now appeared. Of course, uh, I will uh, keep uh, as the output the, the same I have, uh, I have been using now, in order not to create uh, problems in the recording. Nevertheless, uh, this is a way to see that it was identified as an input 
as an output. So sorry, it's in Italian. Ingresso is input, uscita is output, and it was detected on both sides. This means that it was correctly connected. Uh, this is just to double check the matter I told you about the <coughs> excuse me about the Mac not recognizing some adapters and so not uh, uh, connecting correctly the the device. Well, when the hardware is uh, correctly set, in the meantime, uh, our plug uh, is uh, is charging. You see the green the green light uh, here. Okay. Uh, we need to download some software. So the, the the second part that we will need is to have some uh, tools that will be uh, available for for our for our device. So. What we will need to do is to open our browser. Okay, just search for NUX. In my case, NUX uh, Mighty Plug Pro, but of course, uh, you can search for your specific device. If you scroll it, normally the first or second result is the connection to nuxfx.com, that is the official website. You just click on it and you are brought to the page to the main page of the of the device if you look in the this part there is a section named support click on it and you will be scrolled down in at the end of the page is not so so far away so it's a it's a simple uh, thing just to, to let you to let you see how it works uh, here you can download uh, all the necessaries for this uh, for the device, uh, like for example, uh, re most recent uh, user user manual, instruction on how to load custom tracks uh, into the device. You know that uh, Mighty Plug Pro and uh, Mighty um, uh, and uh, another amplifier like uh, uh, My Mighty Space can uh, can be uploaded with some. Uh, additional songs in directly within the device and use them like backing tracks of course if you scroll a little down you will find there are some firmwares in particular for uh, at the time of this video the most recent one is dated the 3rd of april 2023 it's version 2.2.6 that by the way if you check the change log added a very welcome uh, new uh, feature that is uh, the tuner built in into the new X Mighty Plug Pro. And there are, you see, four versions. Uh, one, the first one is uh, the official firmware version for macOS. The second one is for Windows. And then, <coughs> excuse me, there are other two versions that are uh, the same firmware, but already including some uh, chop tones uh, uh, impulse response. I will be using those. You need to download the, the right one for your system. So if you have Windows, select that one. If you have uh, uh, Mac OS, of course, you will download this one. So I'm clicking on this one. You see the download happened. I'm showing you the full process because it's very easy. So I'm opening it. And now I have the all these. Uh, so let's move. Uh, let's move this. Uh, um, this uh, folder in a different position. Now it is in download. Give me a second. Let's move it on the desktop. This way it's uh, available here and I prefer to have it here. So give me a moment. Uh, I'm hiding some things that you don't need. Okay, so we have the folder here. Then we also need uh, to download the app to uh, update that that is software you see we have the mighty editor that is the the software that you can use to edit the effect chain in the system then also there are some drivers that are needed for windows in particular for uh, for um, updating your, uh, for, for sorry, uh, for connecting uh, the new X mighty device as a uh, 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 audio interface for macOS, as you have seen, it is recognized uh, immediately. You don't need to have to, to install any driver. It's just for Windows that is this is this is needed. 
we will not need the editor or so. The firmware is already including, uh, as you can see from here, is already including uh, also the NUX device updater. This one is the software that is used uh, to make the update. Of course, we need to um, we need to, to install it in our in our computer. In my Mac, I just need to double click, but it is uh, oh sorry it says uh, is not finding it uh, okay sorry maybe i need something strange like pulling it okay it's double checked i just need to install it just follow the, the regular path uh, the regular process for your for your uh, device uh, if you have a windows computer you just need to double click on it and then go on so i can close the folder for now i can uh, sorry expel the dmg file i don't need it anymore okay and now we are uh, <laughs> very close because uh, we already have installed the right uh, uh, software in fact uh, if i browse it uh, you see that uh, the device updater is already here so we can uh, we can now uh, see how to install uh, this firmware so we will open the, the software the, the updater okay that is uh, a very simple one you see the the screen is very it's very simple it's tell it tells you that uh, it's not able to find uh, the device uh, so we will need uh, to uh, turn it on in a specific way that is why now i'm moving this one on the side to show you the, the screen, the, the device that we will be turning on. But before this, uh, I would like to provide some important warnings. Now we are performing a firmware update. That is the most invasive activity that we can perform on an hardware device. If it fails for any reason, because uh, the battery is down, the connection is lost, uh, your computer turns down, uh, uh, electricity is going down. Uh, that if uh, in, uh, there is an incomplete uh, update of the firmware, in many situations you will find uh, that your device will not turn on anymore or will not work properly. If you are lucky, it is possible that it is uh, still available for another firmware update that can be maybe completely this time. And in this case, uh, you fix it. But it is really a matter of chances, and I really do not to, to risk that. So before starting this, make sure that your computer is well powered. You are using a, a good cable that is not losing connection when you move it just a little bit. Make sure that the device is as, as far as possible is uh, fully charged this way it, it doesn't lose uh, um, electricity in the in the meantime then we can start okay if you're ready for this and you feel confident with that we need to start uh, start, uh, start up the device in update modality and that is obtained keeping the preset change button pressed while you turn it on you see that it will start to blink in blue. This means that it's ready for, for that. In the meantime, let me head the device and to return to the computer. You see that now the device was found. Mighty Plug Pro DFU device connected. Okay. Now we just need to, to uh, make a very simple thing. So I can refresh about this one. We can select the firmware file. So press select file then go to the right position so i'm going to to find it so i need to find the file for me it was in desktop firmware you may remember and now we need to select the bin file there is only one available dated 20th of March because it was the version 2.2.6 with chop tones selection let's select it and press open you see that the, the, the system is also showing you the news add the tuner function adapt the new ASIO driver adapt IR manager so the management of the inputs response fixed some uh, small bugs so 
done this we can uh, we can really uh, launch the firmware update you see that now the button start update is no more grayed out so we can now press it and see what's happening let's see for that let me move it aside updating please wait you see that in the meantime i can show you the color changed from blinking blue became yellow now is flashing while the a bar is going on in the uh, device updater software is uh, scrolling up so we can see what is happening and when it will be uh, finished we just need to wait it can be a long uh, a long wait be patient don't stop it if the device looks like it is freezed be patient don't try to uh, to move it somehow because that can be really risky as i said an interrupted uh, update of the firmware can be uh, the most uh, disrupting activity you can perform on the device because you can find yourself with uh, a beautiful uh, um, uh, paper holder because it, it, it will not work anymore if there is a, a wrong uh, a damage in the firmware and it is not possible to fix it generally speaking <coughs> excuse me let's wait some more now sorry i'm hiding again the device so we can focus on the software and see where it is we are about at uh, 60 percent now it's speeding up let's wait for another few time just a moment to see how it works okay i know it's it requires some patience as i told you it is really necessary to do that in the meantime the device is still blinking yellow so <laughs> sorry i thought it was faster so I could uh, speed it up uh, otherwise but nevertheless it is important for you to wait that this is finished uh, completely uh, by the way um, in my case uh, I also needed to update the firmware because uh, with the old one the uh, software is not connecting so I cannot configure the effect chain and it is a, com a known uh, matter with Mac devices and it is needed to, to update the firmware so it was necessary nevertheless we are close to the end it seems it's finished oh yeah by the way you see that now it's blinking green the upgrade is finished you can restart the upgraded device so let's push ok move it on the side the device now is blinking green and now it is possible to turn it off and back on so we can double check that it is working again ok it is flashing ok we can close the software now you see that it took a moment for the device to turn on and it blinked uh, fastly for uh, for a few time because it was uh, uh, unpacking the, the transfer the firmware but you see it is working correctly so when everything went uh, went uh, as expected so uh, as you see it's a, a very simple activity it is not uh, difficult uh, to do it you just need to download a couple of softwares connect your device as you would do for any other thing for configuring it with uh, uh, mighty software or so and uh, launch the, the the firmware it is risky i cannot uh, hide it to you because uh, of course uh, if uh, it is not uh, going well you can lose the functionality of your device and by the way generally speaking warranty is not covering a failed firmware update so again my my strong suggestion make sure the device is fully charged make sure to use a good quality cable that is not losing the signal every now and then make sure that your computer is only performing this activity and nothing else that can break it make the make the the the, the, the update die or disrupt in any way the activity you are performing because when you started you need to wait until the very end and it must be you must receive that confirmation that everything is working well 
I've been showing it using a Mac, uh, Mac OS device, but as I said, it is exactly the same if you are using a Windows computer. So feel free to ask me other uh, questions or other things uh, in the comments below. If you are curious or something is not working for you as expected, we can double check together. Also, there are some information on the NUX website because uh, there have been some problems uh, uh, in the past uh, with some kind of firmwares, not with the update of the firmware, but some firmwares uh, were preventing some functionalities to work with uh, some devices. So it can happen that you are forced to perform an update of your uh, uh, of your uh, firmware and this guide can help you if it is necessary to show it. As I said, very simple, just uh, be careful of what you're doing in order not to, to, to create any problem. So, thank you again for watching, I hope you found this useful, it was required by many of you so I thought it could be helpful. In the meantime, I'm uh, renewing to you the invitation for next week's video and bye bye!